most holy trinity, we invite your majestic presence to fall upon all of us who are gathered here this morning, but especially upon Juan and Giselle, as they are united as one flesh in the sacrament of holy matrimony. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, our response is, the Lord is my compassionate. The Lord is compassionate towards all his works. The Lord is compassionate towards all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate towards all his works. Response. The Lord, the Lord is compassionate, is compassionate towards all his works. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them their food. In Jesus' name. Verse 1. The Lord is compassionate towards all his works. The Lord is just in all his ways, and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Verse 1. The Lord is compassionate towards all his works. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual better. Serving the Lord, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are, need, who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Kiko. Appreciate it. My brothers and sisters, please rise for a proclamation of the Holy Gospel. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. They are no longer two, but one flesh. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. And the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. Juan and Giselle, brothers and sisters, today's society considers the man and the woman the ministers of marriage as they exchange their vows and they marry themselves as is witnessed by myself and all of us who are gathered here in God's house today. But according to our Christian heritage, the ministers of this holy sacrament are not Juan and are not Giselle. And the marriage doesn't play, take place with the exchange of vows or even the exchange of rings. The sacrament of holy matrimony is God himself descending upon Juan and Giselle right here, right now, as they are within his presence. Through this invocation of the Holy Spirit's presence and his blessing upon their gifts, each person giving to each other their hearts full of love and the gift of their spirit to one another. The Holy Spirit of God takes these gifts of love and he mystically binds them together and transforms this loving couple into one flesh. When this beloved couple finally exchange their rings in this Catholic sacrament, it is the external symbol of what God has already accomplished within the heart and spirit of this loving couple. Juan and Giselle, as a result, God's grace will become your own lifestyle of grace as you give gifts of grace to each other and you will receive the joys and blessings of your life together. Amen. We're now preparing for those that wish to receive communion. We're uh, going to pray together the Apostles' Creed. For those that know it, feel free to say it with me. For those that don't, you can just follow along, okay? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. I would once again ask you if you would please rise and pray together the prayer that Christ the Lord taught us. This is the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. As we prepare to receive communion here in a moment, I will then be giving a general absolution to everyone who wishes to receive it. So now that we're standing, let us take a moment, just a moment to reflect and to ask for God's forgiveness for our transgressions. For it was he who chose to die on the cross for you and me, shed his precious blood on the cross to wash away our sins. So let us together recite the penitential act. I confess to almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy, joyful are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Amen. Come and receive the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those that wish to receive communion after our main guests and the family, then I invite anyone who wishes to come forward to please line up and come forward. Juan, this is the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Giselle, this is the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ready? Yes. <laughs> Juan and Giselle, my dearly beloved, you've come together on this special day so the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love because he has already consecrated you in baptism. And now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. So I would ask you to please rise. And in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Juan and Giselle, have you come here freely and without reservation today to give yourselves together in holy matrimony? Yes. You are, are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your life? Yes. yes. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, please face each other and join your hands and declare your consent before God and his church. Repeat after me. I Juan. I Juan. Take you, Giselle. Take you, Giselle. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Giselle. <laughs> Quiet. Giselle, please repeat after me. I, Giselle. Giselle. Take you on. Take you on. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to in you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Juan and Giselle, you have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in all his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, men must not divide. Amen. Amen. May we now have the rings, please. May the Lord bless these rings, which you give to each other as a sign of your love and your fidelity. In nomine patri fidei tu spiritus sanctus. Amen. One. Please take this ring and place it on Giselle's finger and repeat after me. The other one? Oh, sorry. What am I doing? Okay. Giselle? Giselle? Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And of my fidelity. And of my fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please take this ring and place it on Juan's finger and repeat after me. Juan, Juan. Take, this ring take this ring as a sign of my love and of my fidelity. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father and, of the Son, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. My brothers and sisters, this cord symbolizes an infinite bond of love that you share together. 
and it keeps your relationship strong in the face of any adversity, as well as that you both are no longer two, but one in holy matrimony. May this cord remind you to face your life together courageously and with mutual support for each other in carrying out your duties and responsibilities as a couple. This veil symbolizes the oneness of marriage. Let this veil be a symbol of the faithful love that you have for each other. Through the passing of years, let this veil remind you that you belong to each other and no one else. I want to give these coins to you. If you would now then pass them on to your future wife. Originally, there was an understanding of the husband as the breadwinner and his wife as the homemaker. The coins are given and received, not in the spirit of reciprocity, but today these coins are a reminder of good stewardship for all couples, that they will mutually support one another, their children, and the world around them. I now bless the cord, the veil, and the coin. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to be lighting the ruby candle, and the ruby candle is for those who can't be with us today. This ruby candle represents our prayers for those who weren't able to be here today on this most special day, this special occasion. And let us now light the unity candle. So if I would ask you if you would take, each take one of these smaller candles, and off of the Christ candle right here, if you would both light your candle, And together at the same time, if you would light the center candle. Great. And if you hold them up, you may now extinguish the two single candles. Okay. All right. Brothers and sisters, if you would please bow your heads to receive the benediction. Juan and Giselle, may God the Almighty Father give you his joy and bless you. And may the Son of God have mercy on you and help you in good times and in bad. May the Holy Spirit of God always fill your hearts with his love and his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Juana Giselle, by the power vested in me through the Catholic Church and the state of Nevada, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>
special. Um, I'd like to start off with a prayer. Uh, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day. For our family and friends, uh, please take care. Please take care of us always, and bless the food that we're about to have. And uh, let's have some fun. Amen. Um, yeah. Good afternoon to all. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Joy. I'm the bridesmaid of honor and Giselle's older sister. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you all for spending this wonderful day with Kyle and Giselle for, um, for all the people who traveled all the way here just to witness their um, special day. Thank you and I'm happy that, you're all, that you are all here. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, Having a sister is one of the greatest things in life. But having a little sister like Giselle is even better because um, I got to grow up. <laughs> I shared a lot of memories. Um, um, we all um, we cried and laughed together. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> um, Giselle is a type of sister that everyone wishes they had. She's always there when you need her. Um, she's the first person I call whether I have a good or bad news. <clears throat> or just when or or just when I need a person to talk. <laughs> You don't know what I would do without her. So, um, um, you've been my best friend, my biggest cheerleader, and my confidant. I have the opportunity to watch her grow and um, evolve into a wonderful woman she is today. <laughs> and we are all very um, lucky to have her in our lives. Um, I just want to say that um, she and <laughs> I'm so proud of what you've become. You're a good-hearted, um, good-hearted, God-fearing person, and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> um, you know that I'm, I'm always here with you. I'm always here um, with the both of you, and I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, to Kyle, um, since the day I met you, I knew you were good for Giselle. <laughs> yeah, you look at her with such love and admiration. <laughs> um, I want to say that I'm, I'm happy to gain a new brother. <laughs> Um, I hope that you will treasure and respect her as me and my family did over the years. And of course, to love her. To love her, oh, to love her over the years. <laughs> so, um, in behalf of my um, loving parents, my mom and my dad, who's unfortunately not um, here, we officially welcome you to our family. <laughs> so I hope everyone is enjoying the food, the free food at that. Uh, so for those who don't know me, my name is Simon. I think it's fair to say that I'm pretty close to the groom here. But, um, you know, I had a really difficult time uh, deciding what I wanted to say here today. Uh, Juan and I, well, aside from the obvious, that Juan lucked out with Giselle, <laughs> who looks absolutely stunning, by the way. 
But um, Wanda and I have known each other for for so long now that um, the words just kind of skip. But one thing that I know for absolute certainty is that I have never seen Wanda happier, more free spirited, and more loved than I have when I've seen you with Giselle. It's um, it's amazing to see you like this, and I'm so excited and ecstatic to just see the two of you go on your journey. Yeah. Uh, lastly, though, I do hope that Giselle can cook, because <laughs> if she can, we're all in trouble. But, but here's to the newlyweds. Yes. Cheers.